When someone says to you the impact in your life after winning the Heisman Trophy, what's the first thing that comes to mind? In 03, something I always thought about was getting hurt because the previous two years I, I got hurt. You know, every game was like, was this going to be my last game? Or because it happened, you know, two years in a row. So, and all of a sudden you're in the Heisman race. All of a sudden you're all over Sports Center. You're all over newspapers. So much changed so fast. Literally in the split, they said. And the winner is Jason White. <laughs> I mean, everything changed right there. You know, over the years, uh, you, you would think that that would kind of go away, but it, people, you know, still ask for your autograph. And uh, but uh, it just brings so much more recognition to you know, the team that you were a part of and the things that you've done. And since you've still been around the area, what do you think the biggest difference is with the program now versus when you were playing? You know, I think a lot of it has to do with, um, you know, how recruiting's done now. You know, the social media, I think, has uh, been a huge part of some of the changes. you got players now that if they have a bad workout in the summer or if they get mad at a coach, well, they go on to Twitter and they rant about it. Well. Now the entire world knows that this player is upset because he didn't get to do this or he did this. So, you know, I think that that's another issue that the coaches have to deal with. And there's now a lot more talks about the possibility of athletes getting stipends and other types of compensation for playing. What are your thoughts on that? I, I think getting, getting paid um, athletes, is, as long as it's a fair situation, whereas every athlete got the same money and not based on, you know, how good you are or you know, how many jerseys you sell for the school or whatever. I think you're going to have kids stay in school longer. Uh, a lot of guys I know that uh, left school early, they left for financial reasons. You know, when you're, when you're playing football, it's hard to find a job that's going to accept your hours. You know, some kids don't, don't have the opportunity to make any money and, and, and pay bills. You know, you're living strictly off your scholarship check, and, and that's tough to do. Johnny Manziel. What advice would you have for Johnny Manziel at this point? You know, I think for Johnny, I the advice I would have is, you know, keep enjoying, you know, what, what he's doing. I mean, he, for a kid to be you know, 20 years old and get to, to meet the people he's meeting, to do the things he's doing, you know, keep enjoying it. I mean, it, it, football won't last forever, so you might as well enjoy what you're doing now. I think the only other advice that I'd give him is, you know, be more of a private person. Uh, you know, let you know, let everybody else, you know, talk and do all that, and you just be more of a private person and continue to to work hard. You know, we we know he can play, and you know, I'm excited to see, you know, him improve and and play well this year.